All right. Wild lady trucker in the building. What's going on with you? What's going on? How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You know, just uh, rolling. I'm kind of, I'm kind of in my feelings, but I don't think I should be, because, Why? well, because last week I, I did like close to four hundred, four hundred thousand miles last mm -hmm. week, but wow, but this week, um, I'm breaking maybe about fifteen ish. Oh. Okay. Right, because I see, see why, I, I see why you ain't your feeling. I right, see. right, because see, I'm I'm on my way to pick up a low. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm on my way to pick up a low, and I I'm thinking that once I get this low to the uh to the terminal, I think that's gonna be it because I got an appointment. Well, I got a sat I got to be home Saturday morning, so <laughs> we're not even gonna okay. we're not even gonna try to do anything tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess when I get back to the shipper, I mean shipper. I guess when I get back to the terminal, we'll we'll probably chop it up then. But what about you though? Where are you where are you on your way to? Um, I am in Georgia, just across the Georgia line, mm -hmm. heading to Florida. All right, ready to go on my home time. All right, and I can't wait. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody? <laughs> And uh, let everybody know what you used to do before trucking. Well, uh, as you said before, my name is Wild Lady Trucker. My government name is Linda, or Linda Wilder. Um, I've been trucking for five years. Before I was in trucking, I was in corporate America in banking over 20 some years um, in the mortgage industry. I was a loan, construction loan um, consultant. Okay. So twenty years in the banking field. Over twenty years. Yes. Over, over twenty years in the banking mm -hmm. field. Yes. Wow. And I do get a pension from I uh, get a pension from them when when I come of age. So oh, so you, know, you they, they, so you act so so you so you lightweight did your twenty and out with them. Say that one more time. I say you lightweight did your twenty and out with them. Oh, definitely. Yes, I did. I did my time. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what? I mean, how how old was you when you got finished with with banking? Um, around about that's been like okay, five years, and then three years, so that's eight years, and I'm fifty three now. So you count back. So, um, forty. Okay, okay. So you getting out of banking after after twenty and out. What the hell, man? Where where did trucking come into play at? Well, um trucking came into play with my husband. Okay, he's the truck driver and I, I rode for him with him uh for three years. Oh, okay. And then it was like a dare. Uh I you know, it looked easy and I say that I can do it and he told me that I couldn't, so hey. Cannot tell me what I can't and cannot do. Mm. So your husband dared you to get your CDL. Yes, it was a dare. Damn it, man! It wasn't. It wasn't nothing else. It wasn't because of the. Wasn't because of the money. Wasn't because of nothing else. It was just you and your old man on the truck, and y'all just conversating back and forth. Like, yeah, I could do this. Eh? And he looks at you and just says, "Right, you can't do this. I I dare you to do this." And and it's, that's how you and, and that's and, and that's how you manifested into becoming a female truck driver. Yes, exactly. It wasn't no. It, it, it wasn't about the money because you don't get money right away. You know, you're basically trying to get in your time mm -hmm. and trying to prove yourself as a driver. But then when my husband got back into two trucking, he didn't go um, by way of um, going to you know, refreshing up his license at trucking school mm -hmm. uh, when you get with a big company. He went with a small mom and pop company and did his little time there. Mm -hmm. And then he moved on to a bigger company. So I rode along with him. So, you know, I knew coming in and I did my research that there, was, there wasn't not going to be any money at first. And people think that, you know. Okay, okay, okay. 
So I, I yo, I respect that. Raise much respect, man, because a lot of people now, you know, back then, coming in five years ago, six years ago with me, you know, with the six years and everything, back then it wasn't even about the money anyway. You know, people wasn't people wasn't even talking about the money back then right. you know people wasn't even talking about oh well I'm, I'm coming into chasing that bag and all like that all this shit came in all this shit came into into play after after 2000 you know what i'm saying i mean after i mean after 2015 after 2016 that's when people start coming in talking about oh it's time for the bag and chasing the bag and all like that but for you it wasn't like that no, and even I came in at 2017, and it wasn't no bag to chase, and it's still not a bag to chase. People make you think that if you're not familiar with trucking, and then when you get out here, um, you realize you're going to have to prove yourself before you can get with a company that will pay you money. Now, if you go on with a big corporation, basically you're coming in as a student, and they have the capital to um, be able to uh, trust you and work with you. Mm. But chasing that bag is not when you first come out. That's, I don't care what nobody say. That's what's up. All right, so banking, uh, you you was what a loan processor? You said yes, a mortgage, um, a, a construction loan consultant. So oh. basically, I dealt with uh, customers who's building their own homes, residential constructions, and we take the money that they loan, they um, borrow from the bank, and mm. we pay out the um to the builders on each process so they have to get uh inspected mm -hmm. and we have to go out and have somebody inspect their work before we give them money mm -hmm. now was you was you in banking during the time of the i, I guess what they called the bubble burst um for um the same time i was trying to get my cdl no I was out of banking for about three years. I drove on the truck with my husband for three years. Okay, okay. So, why, what, but while you was in banking, everything was cool. I mean, you know, back then they were talking about the crash and, you know, the mortgage oh, yeah. and all like that. Yeah. You, you, you was, you was in that during that time. I was in banking when everything fell apart back in two thousand and eight, and I did. Um, I, I went into the Department of uh, Loss Mitigation because mm -hmm. that's when a lot of people was needing homes that they could not afford by stating their income, and now they're asking us to help, mm -hmm. you know, save their home. And we so, tried the best that we could. So your, retire so, so your retirement came just in time. Like, you know, I mean, it was about to be – you know, everybody, you know, the banks was going in, you know, they was going into bankruptcy and stuff like that. So your 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 retirement came just in time for that, for all of that, right? Yes. Um now, you know, like in that department, now when everything is okay, that's when they start either laying you off or mm -hmm. putting you in other fields. So what I did was I went into mortgage um into the loan the construction loan department. But mm -hmm. however, you know, you get tired because, you know, these banks, they merge, um, they lay off mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and all that. So it was, it was just time for me to go, you know, because it was getting to the point where you was always worrying about your job. Yeah, my my uh, my ex-wife, she was in banking and um, and it, it was it was it was awesome. I mean, you know, it was a uh, national at that time. It was called National City Bank. Uh you know, she had a she had a nice little run there, probably about what eight uh -huh. eight to nine years or something like that. Then all uh -huh. of a sudden, then all of a sudden, uh, PNC came into came into town and 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 brought out uh, National City Bank, and with that, uh -huh. with with that, shut down half the you know half the offices. You know, they shut down half the offices and shut it down half the, the departments that uh that you know that she was a part of so yeah yeah yes, so, and the banks are very notorious in that so you know it's it's crazy when you when you think about when you think about banking and you know what they be doing you know some shady shit behind closed doors do you feel mm -hmm. do you feel trucking do the same thing with all these 
mergers and 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 uh, shutdowns and 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 out of businesses and all like that. We just heard that uh, uh, Ashley Furniture just acquired uh, Wilson's Logistics not too long ago. Well, it's a difference. Um, almost the same for as whoever owning the company need money. Um, so another company will come in who has capital and loan that money under the conditions that, you know, they emerge or whatever. Just like with how uh, uh, way I work at, you know, they still be under the different name, but they still under the same umbrella. But the difference with that is between banking and um, the trucking industry, the, the um, job is still there because they're not going to let the truckers go. You know, you just want to go under a different umbrella, you know, because they need, they need truckers. Okay. Uh, with banking, it's a tuck rope. It's just tuck rope. They'll let you go in a minute, especially if um, they don't need you in that department. You say they wouldn't. You say they wouldn't even think, give you a second thought, even even if you've been there for ten, fifteen, twenty years. Yes, yes, and 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 luckily I was able to get out. But sometimes a, a lot of people they almost to that to that um, time frame that they get laid off. You know, so. <laughs> wow. And I have a girlfriend right now. She's in it, and every time I turn around, she's um always talking about what they. They're cutting back. They're sending the jobs overseas. They can't send trucking jobs overseas. Now that's a that's a difference. They can't send us overseas. That's that's what's up. So, so all right. So you 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 done with the you you done with the banking? Uh, everything's done. Got out got out in the truck with your old, with your old man for three years. He dared you. So with that dare. Where, where did you go to get your license? Did you go to a school or did you go to a trucking company or what? I went to a trucking company and they paid for my school. I went to MPC in, uh, in Hazelwood. Uh, uh, where is that at? Hazelwood? It's Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. You know, outside of um, St. Louis. It's like a little small um, town. So that's where I went. It was fast paced. I failed my test twice. <laughs> and I called my husband and told him, I can't do this. It's not as easy as I thought it was. <laughs> I never, I never, drove, I never drove a truck at all. Y'all didn't put a bed out there, did you? He, he, no. Uh, no. Y'all didn't put a bed out there. Y'all didn't gamble like, yo, I bet you I can do this. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. How about how, how about we put something up on that? <laughs> No, he just told me I can't come home until I get those lights <laughs> open my big mouth. Uh, he said your ass he couldn't said, come home, huh? Exactly. He said, uh uh-uh. uh. No. Talk I'm not paying because they give you a three, they give you three chances, mm-hmm. and that's it. And then if you fail the third time, you'll have to come out of pocket. And um, he said he was not coming out of pocket, so I, I better pass, do whatever I can to pass the third time. Wow, lady trucker talking all that shit. <laughs> I sure was, and hey, I was I was trying to eat him up, but he, uh, uh-uh, you talk all that shit. Now you're gonna you're gonna have to uh eat your shit. Gonna have to own up. So, that's it. That's right. He's not uh-uh, no failures in the house. I'm like, this is hard, but I'll tell you one story. I tell you one story that because when he realized that I was gone before I went went to trucker school, he he get he did. He allowed me to do little things that he could let me do. I put the glad hands on. I cannot put them glad hands on for nothing in the world. And he sat there. And he was on lunch break. And he just sat there eating while I'm trying to put the glad hands on. He wouldn't get out and help me. <laughs> he said, yeah, not not that easy, huh? All no, right. So, M- so MTC, uh, by way of what trucking company? U.S. Express. Oh my God. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> uh, you. So wait. So did, did? Let me ask you this: Did you found the school first, or did you find U.S. Express first? I found U.S. Express, but U.S. Express was not my first choice. My first choice was Prime, but Prime Inc. I didn't have. Um, I had too big of a gap in my employment. What? So, yeah. 
What, what? Wait, 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 wait. Prime Inc. said that you had too much of a gap in your employment? Yes, and what I did before did not have any person, so I did not understand. I did, wait, I 20, 20 years in banking... And you uh-huh. only and and you and you went out with your 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 old man for the for the three years. You retired yes. like twenty years. They didn't they didn't take that into account that you was a retired banker for twenty years. No, not at all. They didn't even consider because I put at the house. We had the doctor job, but they still didn't for that as a job. Too wow. much of a. And so you had to express, I put in applications like there's certain places that I wanted, but I, I wanted crime. I was just not one because I heard so many good things about crime and women. <laughs> back at it, back at it. Yo, yeah. we, 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 we took a long ass pause and I forget where we left off at, man. Uh, US Express and how we met at US Express. Okay, okay. So. You 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 went to school, MTC, uh, got uh-huh. your license on the third try, and then from yeah. there you 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 jump you you jump right aboard on uh, US Express. Well, as you know, you have to test out, so mm-hmm. and then you go with a trainer, right? For a few weeks, for so many hours, I think 170 hours at the time. I don't know how many hours. They require you now, mm-hmm. and I mean, what? And um, no, you go with um a trainer first, and then once you come back from your trainer, then you test out, and then you get seated in your own truck. Okay, now that was now that was all during the doing the process of coming in, but you got your license on the third try, right? Yeah. Yes, on the third try, I had to get. Yeah, I had to get him. Though. I couldn't come home. Yeah, yeah. Old man said, "Nah, sis. Mm-mm. You said that this shit yeah. was easy. I'm gonna have to put you in your place. I'm gonna have to sit you down." <laughs> so it wasn't easy. I mean, and it wasn't easy even going with a trainer. The, the, the scariest part is when you you go out by yourself and you don't have no one to tell you what to do. Mm. Now, now it was a. Uh, yeah, back then, about 170 ish, um, and you 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 test out. Where where did you test out at? Um, in Jacksonville. Uh, you test because out. They want, they want, yeah, they wanted me to test out in Town of Hill, mm-hmm. but I heard what the, one of the trainers was going through a divorce, and he was uh, and that's all women. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was fair on the women, so I didn't know how true it was, so I didn't want to take my chance. I know that's so right. I I, yeah. I I I tested out in Tunnel Hill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that did? part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, <laughs> luckily I, I I got I believe his name was John, if I'm not mistaken. So luckily I got him and uh right. and and he slid me through. And I, I guess the rest is uh, history from there, but um, exactly. but you 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 went out, you you went out training. How how was, if you can remember, how how was your training, uh, going out? Okay, I, okay, I was with a male trainer because I didn't want to wait for a female because you, as you know, you know females are very scared. And then, so I decided once I talked to my husband and told him that, hey, I'm going to have to go out with a man. Do you mind? And he said he didn't mind. And so I, I got with an older um, gentleman. He he was good because he, he, um, he, was, he was driving for like seven years. So I didn't have like a rookie trying to teach me. And um, but the only thing is that I didn't get a lot of biking because when he tried, a lot of places that we went to, they, they they didn't allow you to, you know, do all of that. You you load and you go. So it was was it a one and done with the with the first? I mean, with the trainer or or y'all had issues or no issues or what? Oh no no, that, it was a one and done. The only issue I had with him, he talked a lot. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but you said, but oh, you, like <laughs> but you said you had to ask your husband first. 
or or you know to let him know that you you was going out with a man, right? How, how did your husband take it? Oh, he was fine. I told him I um I don't want to. He already know how I am. I didn't want to go out with someone young, um because that was not going to happen. So luckily, I let them know he has to be older. It doesn't matter what race, um, but you know because I have oh, women I, in the industry. I think you uh I I think you uh uh crapped out there a little. Oh, he have a tried and he was very professional. He just talked a lot. <laughs> That's about it. All right, so you 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 came back, you tested out in uh in Jacksonville, U.S. Express, uh, U.S. Express, at the time, made you sign a contract for your license, or did they give you, or did they have you to sign like a, uh, a, a what do you call it, a financial agreement? Uh, yes, um, I had to be with them for a year, and then they'll pay my uh, school back. So they did that. Oh, okay, okay. So are you, I guess the bigger question is now is, uh, are you still with U.S. Express? Yes, I am. God damn it, man. Five years deep with U.S. Express. Exactly. Gone on, gone on six. Um. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna have to talk about we we we're gonna have to talk about the reason why you still with them, but you came across me how? I think I seen you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um and uh you say that you work at US Express. Right. And so that's how we came across each other. I think, you know, somehow on Facebook, one of those trucking groups. All right, that's what's up, and uh, and uh, and we connected. I, I didn't you have a, didn't you do a a YouTube at one point? I, yeah, I was starting to do a YouTube, but I don't like to talk a lot. So I'm on, now I'm on, I'm just on TikTok, so I don't have to talk a lot on TikTok. All right, so in the midst of calculating your age and all like that. Wow, Lady Trucker, you mean to tell me you're in your sisties right now? Okay, say that one more time. I said you in your sisties right now. Am I okay? Are I'm in my what? Sixty six zero. Six zero. Yes. Are you in your sisties? No. No. Oh. Um, my age. Yes. I'm fifty three. Man, you don't look fifty three. I gotta tell you that right now. You, you, you don't. I get you, that a lot. You, you do not. Yes, I have two you, grown sons and six grown children. You, you do not look fifty three at all, man. All right, so let's talk about U.S. Express for a minute. What? Why are? Why Wild Lady Trucker is is doing the damn thing with U.S. Express, man? Usually we would have been out by now. Like me, I I was out. I was out after two years. Out, you know, outie. But actually, you know what? I was pushed out. I really didn't. Uh -huh. I really didn't leave. I I was pushed out. I I think if I wasn't pushed out, I will probably still be there too. Right. And I know the story about that. So I mean, it was not fair. But you know, I think you had mentioned it on your YouTube video, mm -hmm. and maybe that was the best thing that was needed for you at the time. You know, um, right now I'm on a dedicated account. I'm not over the road. Um, so I go home every weekend and sometimes I come home one day out of the week. Mm. Um, I have a good fleet manager. So right now I have plans, you know, I don't mm. like the job hot, you know, so I have plans on what, you know, what my ends are going to be. Well, I tell you what, I, I gotta give, I gotta give it to you, man, because you, you, you doing a damn thing. I mean, your, your resume is, is fucking trunk tight. So if you do decide to, go with another company and they'll look at that they'll be like yo you was with us express for six years man well let's talk about that let's talk about that because we talked about how people um you know brag about i'm chasing the bag and you mm -hmm. know it's a lot of money out here when you first start and it's not you have to gain your reputation it's all about your reputation and keeping your life clean 
So, so how, what I did was go go I ahead go wanted, ahead and break it down for us. So what I did was I I wanted to know where I was at. So I put in my resume on Trucker Report, mm-hmm. and within five minutes I got like a hundred sex calls from every company. Mm-hmm. You know, so when you when you when you keep your license clean and you safety and you all about sex safety is first. Mm-hmm. That's the first and foremost. Making sure that you get there on time, but the first and foremost is safety. Right. When, and when you have all of those things and um, you haven't been written up, you are a hot commodity. Then that's when you can start chasing the bag. Mm. So, so you you're clean, no issues. Mm-hmm. Got all no, your no safety. got no no safety issues and nothing like that. Got all your uh, your uh, uh, lows on time. And stuff like that, yes. and you, uh-huh. your your status within the company should be somewhere in the top three, right? Well, it's in the top one because I'm one of the best drivers. So my my fleet manager he calls me and asks me what I want to drive. Oh, that's what's up. Now, what about the what what about what what about um what what about the your your pay? Now, when you know when we started. You know, when I, or at least when I started, it was like 34 cent, I think, when I started at. And then I think when uh-huh. I, I think when I left, I was up at 45. Uh-huh. But, uh, but that's when I left back in 2017. Uh-huh. This is 20, this is 2021. So I, you, without being too specific, are 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 you up in the upper echelon now, or 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 you still in the mid range? Well, this is how a dedicated work. You can work one load and you get guaranteed pay. So as long as you don't turn down the load, your pay going to stay the same. So right now, I'm getting good. You know, so for the type of job that I have. Okay. 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 So, like you said in the beginning, uh, this this in the beginning, you, you're not going to make no money. You know, you you going out training. You only going to get so much while you training. In a cup in a year or so, you're not you only going to get so much in a year or so. When did it When did it change? When did it start changing for you? Like, was it the second year, third year? For as the pay or. How I feel about the company? Well, 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 I ask you how you feel about the company, but as far as the pay, how how did it change for you? You know, throughout uh, throughout the process, did, was, did you start seeing? It changed. Um, okay, within oh, within six months, mm-hmm. and. I did some teaming because at that time they was making you team. They felt like if you team, you, um, it was a better retention, you know, yep. being with someone. That was like, like it backfired. Um, oh, you said it backfired. Teaming, yeah, it, 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 it does, you know, because if two people don't get along, it's not going to work, you know. So what, and, you, um, so what you saying, Wild Lady Trucker, it didn't work? Oh, no. The <laughs> money was good. The, oh, no. The money was good, but for number one, the young lady um, that I can't when she was um, like younger than my youngest son, and I think this is the first time she ever made money, but she uh, was lazy. She mm. didn't want to drive all her time out, and mm. we was on on a lot of UPS FedEx loads, so you kind of know how that is, mm. you know, mm. doing teaming. The truck is always moving. Yep, and. Um, and it didn't work out. So how, and then I went. How hmm? how how was the living arrangements between two females in a confined space? Um, it was kind of it was kind of stressful, you know. But you, you make it do what it do, you know. She it just the only thing that she didn't know how to drive and she didn't know how to brake. So every time she's trying to brake, I'm back, I'm flying at the bump. <laughs> so. I couldn't get no sleep because I couldn't trust her in the mountains, and it was a it was a lot, you know. Especially when you're putting your life in someone else's hand. I got you. All right, so go ahead and continue. Uh, it it started after you teamed. It started changing. When did the when when did the repertoire between you and the and the fleet manager became good? Because the fleet managers. Oh, 
Um, you have to prove yourself, you know, and that's for anything. You know, the first fleet manager I had on this account, we was good. And I guess um, when he left and the second fleet